welcome to this video today this will be a tutorial on how to do straight bar dips so a straight bar dip is essentially a different variation um, than the traditional dip which is having your hands parallel to your body with a straight bar dip your hands are pronated on the bar in front of you and it's the same 90 degree bend but the difference here is that you're targeting your chest as opposed to your tricep with the um, uh, with the regular traditional dip. So straight bar dips target certain muscles, primarily it targets your chest, your shoulders, and also your triceps, but mainly your chest. So now we're gonna go into the benefits of a straight bar dip. So the first benefit is that it activates your core. When you're, in a, when you're doing a straight bar dip, your core is always gonna be engaged. So as you get stronger with your straight bar dip, you'll find that your core also gets stronger as well. So the second benefit to doing straight bar dips is that as you get stronger doing them, you'll find that your upper body strength increases as well. That's because I said, you're gonna target your triceps, your chest, and also your shoulders as well. And these are upper body muscles. So as you're becoming progressively stronger doing them, your upper body strength will increase as well. The third benefit to doing straight bar dips is that it's a functional skill. So meaning that this will help you for everyday activities. So as you become progressively stronger doing the skill, your everyday activities, whatever it may be, will also be easy to do. The last benefit to doing a straight bar dip is that it'll help you to do a muscle up. Reason being is because it's the top portion of a muscle up. So a muscle up from here, this will be a straight bar dip. So if you become better at doing this, you will also become much better at doing the muscle up. So there's a few common mistakes that you might come across whilst doing a straight bar dip. The first mistake might be incomplete range of motion. So if you're not totally going at a 90 degree angle and you're going on about halfway, you're not reaping the full benefits, which is increasing strength and increasing muscle mass. So also, so remember to always go down to a full 90 degree and come back up. The second common mistake that you could make is having the incorrect grip width. So the width, the ideal grip width is show width apart. If you need to have it slightly wider, you can, but make sure it's, it's, it's about show width apart. And if, once you do that, you'll be preventing yourself from causing strain on your shoulders. The last mistake that you might make is shrugging your shoulders. So as you go, as you lower yourself in a straight bar dip, you don't, want, you don't want to have your shoulders close to your ears. You always want to pull your shoulders away from your ears. So I can demonstrate it here. You don't want your shoulders to be close to your ears. You always want it away from your ears. So this is the correct one here. See how my shoulders are away from my ears as opposed to like this. And also, as you're doing a straight bar dip, and you're lowering yourself down, you want to retract your scapula. So you have your shoulder blades, you want to bring them close together as you get lower into a straight bar dip. So from here, when you get lower here, you can show them. You want to retract your shoulder blades here, go back up, bring them together, go back up. So now we're going to go into the starting position of a straight bar dip. So the first thing you want to know is your head. You want your head to be neutral. So you want your head to face forward. The next thing is your hand position. You want your hands to be pronated on the straight bar. The next thing you want to know also is your elbow position. So you want your elbows not to be flared out. You want your elbows to be pointed behind you and you want your, also your um, elbows to be close to your torso. Now with your torso, you want to you want to slightly lean over and with your legs you want your legs to be slightly in front of you which will help you to balance on the straight bar now we're going to go into the transition of a straight bar dip so you want to go into your start position as i showed you before now you want to lower yourself by bending your elbows as you bend your elbows you want your you want the upper part of your core to touch the bar so here, upper part of my core, touching the bar. Now you wanna push through your palms and extend your arms completely and look at your elbows. Now we're gonna go into the progressions of a straight bar dip. So the first progression is a straight bar negative. So a straight bar negative is basically a progression that helps you build strength. 
to do a straight bar dip. So it's all about time under tension. And so basically you want to go down as slow as possible to build enough tension in your arms. And you want to go down and hold it for about two seconds. So I'll show you again. Start position, go down for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Pause the bottom for two seconds and come off the bar. So by doing this, it's gonna help you to build strength and make it easy to do a straight bar dip of time. So the second progression of a straight bar dip is an assisted straight bar dip. And to do this, we need a resistance band. So basically, the resistance band is gonna um, support you whilst doing a straight bar dip. So how you wanna place on the bar is that you wanna have both ends of the band. You wanna loop it over the bar. You wanna pull this part of the band and you wanna put it down, put both soles of your feet onto the bar and then you wanna go into your start position. So as you go down, you'll find that the, that the resistance band supports you as you go up. So do this for about 10 reps. So when you can do about 10 reps of assisted straight bar dips, then you can lower the resistance band until you, do, until you don't need any more support. So there's two variations of dips. You have your regular dips and you have your Russian dips. So a regular dip here is having your hands parallel to your body and going down to a 90 degree angle and coming back up. And also you have a Russian dip, which is going down onto your forearms, thrusting yourself forward and pushing yourself up. Again, I'll show you, go down, thrust forwards, go up. 